This video tutorial will introduce you to the new MVE Lens List and Insurance Group Import feature. There were numerous issues relating to spectacle lenses and insurance fee schedules that needed to be addressed. We are happy to inform you that by implementing this feature, we will greatly reduce the amount of work required by our users to set up and maintain inventory and insurance fee schedules. This new feature addresses the following issues. Inconsistent spectacle lens inventory that's incomplete and has numerous coding errors. Too few lens styles resulting in a very long list of items that impedes workflow. The current list was not maintained by MyVision Express. Insurance fee schedules are cumbersome and require extensive amounts of time to set up. MyVision Express now has our own lens list that we maintain and code. Our customers will be able to connect to the service and download the lenses that they wish to carry. This list is inclusive of all lens styles that have been researched by our specialist who has added and coded the lenses accordingly. Numerous lens styles were added to create an organized list. Insurance groups for the following major carriers were created and will be available for customers to import. They are iMed, Davis Vision, and Optum Health. Others will be added as soon as possible. Once the groups are imported, our customers can add their inventory into the corresponding group. They can then import the group to their fee schedule and easily price it. When you first log in to MyVision Express, your inventory will be synchronized with our list. The process will take anywhere from 1 to 4 minutes depending on your internet connection and existing inventory. When the process is complete, you can scan through your spectacle lens list. You may notice items highlighted in yellow, which means that the item was changed. There are a few reasons why your item may highlight in yellow, the most common being a procedure code was missing. Double-clicking the item will open it up and you can see that the V2219 procedure code was added to the flat top 35. This procedure code is necessary for any flat top wider than 28 millimeters. In order to remove the yellow highlight from the lens, you would double click on this lightning bolt and it would be removed. You may also want to price this procedure code if you haven't done this in your database. And click OK. You will notice that lens is no longer highlighted. You would do the same for any remaining lenses highlighted in yellow. It is important to note that if a procedure code was added or removed from your lenses, your pricing will be affected. Please take a moment to make sure that you correct your inventory pricing. To add new lenses, you will click the Add button. It will bring up your lens import. You can then select the style. Let's say the Verilux Comfort 2. Any lens that's already in your inventory and has been mapped will show in red. Any lenses that you want to bring in, you can bring in by clicking on them. Let's say the new Signature Transitions. Or you could select All, same as you used to. And click OK. Let's go ahead and look at our Verilux Comfort 2. Please note that any time that you import lenses from our lens list, we will also add to your categories the lens style, material, and corresponding color code. Again, this will make it easier for you to search and find lenses in your inventory. I select Verilux Comfort 2. Here are my lenses. Notice that they come in with whatever pricing you have set for your procedure codes. We can open one of these up and see this is your pricing that you set at your procedure code level. If for some reason you wanted to change the pricing for this lens style, you would hold down the control key on your keyboard and press A. All lenses will be highlighted in blue. You would click the details button and click on the procedure code tab. You can enter the retail price for every procedure code here. Anything that you do not enter a price for will remain the same as it was. For now, I'll click Cancel. Let's go back to our complete list. You can synchronize your lens list at any time to ensure you have the latest updates. You will do so by clicking the Sync Lens List button. 
your inventory will sync and when the process is complete you'll get a message saying that the lens synced successfully. Click OK. You will be able to add lens treatments and services as well as synchronize them using the same method that you just saw. We close, go to File, Inventory, Lens Treatments. And here you have the same Add buttons as well as Sync Treatments. Let's close. Next, let's import and synchronize insurance groups. Go to File, Setup, Insurance, Insurance Companies. These are the companies we currently have in our system. Click the Import button. This will bring up a list. Make sure you click on the MVE Radio button. At the bottom, you will see how many insurance companies are available and how many are mapped. You have one mapped already in your system. We can select additional ones we want to map. In this case, let's select IMED and click Import. If we go back in and click the MVE radio button, you will now see that IMED is imported. Now that we have linked IMED, let's look at their groups. And here are the groups. You can go ahead and add your inventory into these groups and later import these groups into the fee schedule and easily price. We will cancel. Notice that any insurance that is linked with our list will show up in bold. This one does not show up in bold because you have not linked it. In order to link it, you could highlight the insurance, click Link, and select it, and click Import. Notice it now shows in bold. You now have three insurances linked. To see the insurance groups for Optum, you would click Groups, and here are your groups. Click OK. You can always synchronize your groups to make sure that you have the latest updates by clicking Sync Groups. To see a video on insurance groups, please visit us at Support Central and watch the video named How to Set Up and Use Insurance Groups. We are very excited to have introduced this new functionality to our customers and hope that you will find it an invaluable tool in helping reduce your workload and improve efficiency. We have taken great care to ensure that everything is as accurate as possible. Should you find that there is a lens missing from our list, please let us know and we can update it. This concludes our video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please remember to visit us at Support Central where you can view additional video tutorials.